Overlander's Way stretches from Townsville to the Northern Territory and follows the journey of the pioneering men and women who were also known as Overlanders. We will take you on the journey from the Great Barrier Reef in Townsville through magnificent landscapes of the outback to the city of Mount Isa and show you the sights and great experiences you can enjoy along the way. Townsville in tropical North Queensland is on the doorstep to the World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef and the stunning Magnetic Island. There are many great things to see and do in and around Townsville, from natural experiences in the surrounding rainforests to enjoying all the city has to offer. As you start your journey on the Overlander's Way, you'll come across the historical city of Charters Towers. When you come to Charters Towers, you'll probably find there's a lot more to do here than you initially expected. So come into the Visitor Centre and they'll help you to work out the best things to do while you're here. Charters Towers was once a bustling gold mining city and you can visit the landmarks and displays of yesteryear. Or for something a bit different, join a Texas Longhorn wagon tour. in the heart of dinosaur country and nearly 3,000 dinosaur and marine fossils have been found in the surrounding countryside. However, Huendon is not just about giants of the past. Well, we're down in Porcupine Gorge and let me tell you one thing, this place does not disappoint. It is just spectacular. And at the end of the day, you can enjoy a glorious sunset from the top of Mount Walker. Halfway between Townsville and Mount Isa, located on the banks of Queensland's longest river, the Flinders, is Richmond. Now we're at Chronosaurus Corner in the heart of Richmond. You can't miss this spot, there's a huge big replica of a Chronosaurus right in the front. Everything you see in Chronosaurus Corner uh, comes from within the Shire of Richmond. The centre is one of Australia's best vertebrae fossil exhibits and will give you a great insight into the town that was once an inland sea. You can also head just out of town to try your luck at some Fossicin and then cool off in the town's freshwater lake. The Overlander's Way is a fully sealed road, so you can drive along it all year round. Next stop is the friendly town of Julia Creek. Julia Creek's a nice small town, very, very friendly people are here, and the tourists love that. They love to come and rest for a few days. They like to have a bit of a rest and then explore the town and meet the local people. But that's what Julia Creek's about, is meeting the locals. Feel like full of cold water. <laughs> have a shower. And after they have a shower, they used to get their rum and the damage on, huh? <laughs> so they'd get a nip of rum out of that in a cold night. Cloncurry is known as the heart of the Great North West and is nestled on the banks of the Cloncurry River. The curry, as it's also known by locals, is steeped in history. You can come down to Cloncurry Airport for a bit of history as well. Right behind me is one of the original Qantas hangars that was built in 1919. And its rich, contrasting surrounding landscapes will capture your attention. We arrived in Mount Isa, the oasis of the outback. Mount Isa is a mining town, and there are also an abundance of things to do here to suit the whole family. And make sure you visit the City Lookout. If you have a four-wheel drive, Mount Isa is also the point from which you can travel on to experience the World Heritage listed Riversley Fossil Site and Bujamala National Park, formerly known as Lawn Hill Gorge. A journey along the Overlanders Way will leave you in awe with tales of its amazing history and the incredible beauty of the surrounding landscapes. <laughs>